Hello friends, in today's video, we shall discuss negative externalities and how to internalize negative externality through Pigovian tax. Negative externality arises when the consumption or production activity of an individual or a firm affects a third party negatively. The most common example of a negative externality is pollution. The production and consumption of automobiles is a major contributor to pollution. When making cars, factories use some pretty nasty stuff and guess what? This ends up as a harmful waste in our environment. Plus, driving cars gives off toxic emissions like carbon dioxide which is a major contributor to global warming. Think about road construction. We are cutting down trees and messing up animal homes to build them. And the sad part? The real cost of all these problems isn't really shown anywhere in the price tag of these cars. So our automobile market is kind of imbalanced or inefficient. In a so-called efficient market where externalities are not considered, the car market would be in equilibrium where the actual cost meet the benefits. However, if a market does not internalize the negative external externalities created such as environmental damages caused by the automobiles then the true costs are not reflected in the price of the automobiles which can lead to overproduction and overconsumption of automobiles. So when referring to an efficient market for automobiles in the traditional sense where only direct costs and benefits are considered it may actually be economically and socially inefficient as it excludes the external costs to the society and the environment. Only when the external costs are internalized the market becomes socially efficient. Let's see this with the help of a diagram. The demand and supply curve for automobiles are shown here. The demand curve shows the marginal benefits of the consumer from consuming an additional automobile and the supply curve represents the marginal cost of the firms for producing an additional automobile. The market is in equilibrium where the marginal cost and the marginal benefit curves are equal with the equilibrium quantity being QM at an equilibrium price of PM per unit. Here, the negative externality of producing and consuming the automobile is not accounted for as in the environmental cost due to the pollution cost, exploitation of natural habitat etc. are not considered. So here the market may be in equilibrium as only the direct costs and benefits are considered but is not socially efficient as the external costs are not considered. Hence the market overestimates the net social benefits of automobiles leading to overproduction of automobiles and thus causing inefficient allocation of of resources. So, if these environmental costs of producing automobiles are added on to the private marginal cost of producing automobiles, then we get the social marginal cost curve which lies above the private marginal cost curve or the original supply curve. The vertical distance between the private marginal cost curve and the social marginal cost curve represents the external cost incurred for producing each additional unit of automobile measured in monetary units that is in currency. In this case, let us assume that the external costs of producing each additional automobile is constant though in reality the external cost will possibly only increase with the increased production of automobiles as it leads to higher levels of air pollution and severe congestion. The most common method to internalize a negative externality is through imposing taxes. This is known as the Pigovian tax or the polluter pay principle named after Arthur Pigo. It is a per unit tax set equal to the external damage caused by an activity. Imagine that the government imposes a tax on these car makers and that tax is pretty much equal to the damage each car causes to the environment. This means for every new car they make, these companies have to pay up extra money as tax which increases their costs. So now on top of their usual private marginal cost, they've got this added tax because of the mess their cars cost. Now this pushes up the private marginal cost curve. The new curve with this tax which is a social marginal cost pays a better picture of the real cost. So what happens? Fewer cars are produced that is we go from QM to Q star and they get a bit pricier that is the price jumps from PM to P star. Now the car market is suddenly playing fair that is it has become socially efficient. However there is a twist. Even though the tax was aimed at the companies the consumers do end up covering some of the tax by paying more for the cars. That makes some folks think twice about buying one which can cause a decrease in demand for cars. Here we can say that the external costs from the automobile 
mobile market have been internalized now we know that the social optimum point is q star which is inclusive of externalities and the market equilibrium is qm without considering externalities we can see that to the left of q star the marginal benefits are greater than the social marginal cost while to the right of q star the marginal social costs are greater than the marginal benefits this means that automobile production till q star is efficient as it is inclusive of the external cost of production whereas any automobile produced beyond q star reflects inefficient outcome as a negative externality created is unaccounted leading to its overproduction from the society's perspective at market equilibrium the market price of automobiles is low as it fails to reflect the external costs while the socially efficient price is higher at p star as it incorporates the external costs also here we can see two triangles the red triangle represents greater social marginal cost due to overproduction the area of the red triangle is reduced so as to reach the social optimum point it means the overproduction is cut down from qm to q star thus the area of the red triangle is equal to the area of the green triangle now in conventional economics the green triangle represents economic loss to the society which is usually termed as dead weight loss now in environmental terms this dead weight loss is actually environmental gains that is a socially optimum output is produced by internalizing the externality and the pollution from over production is also eliminated if you like the video do subscribe to my channel and share the videos to maximum thank you